It's time to make a mug at the Stoke-on-Trent headquarters of the most famous pottery manufacturer of all. I'm uh, Josiah Wedgwood. Clever old boy. Clever old boy. Well, the methods that he used for pottery 250 odd years ago, you know, they were that efficient. You know, they're still using that, well, those methods now. Before having a crack at making his own mugs, Guy gets a demonstration from possibly the most skilled potter in Britain. Robin's worked at Wedgwood since he was 12. Are you you're just coming a couple of days a week now? Yeah. For a bit of Guinness money? Yeah. <laughs> Robin is one of only two men who can make what Josiah Wedgwood saw as his greatest creation, the Portland vase. Is he right? It took him, did it take him 5,000 goes? Just to, what, to get the right shape and... Yeah, getting it fired right. Right. Robin can throw a Portland vase in just 20 minutes, and once decorated and fired, his creation will be worth 9,000 pounds. He's a bit out of my price range. <laughs> Leaving Robin to his vase, Guy moves on to start his own rather less ambitious creations, a pair of mugs. I've got my centrifugal force will take hold and end up firing it all across the room. <laughs> <laughs> and under the watchful eye of Gavin, Guy seems to pick up the art of throwing rather quickly. You sure yeah. you haven't done this before? No, 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 no never. There's some more water on. All right. Water. Water, well, yeah, it's from Lincolnshire, you see. Oh, I see. Well, you see, W-A-T-E-R, it's spelled water. Oh, <laughs> no, it's looked very nice. You think? Yeah. Pop it down. All right for a first attempt? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. I tap very much. Very good fun. So, on to the second mug, and Guy seems to be getting a bit overconfident. Oh, I'm making a pig's ear of it. Now, come down with your thumbs on the top. But with an expert tip, he manages to rescue it. It's getting good height on there, even your rim. What do you reckon, Gavin? Yeah? yeah, definitely. We've got a bit more girth on, though. Before any decoration can be added to Guy's mugs, they need to dry out for two days. So Guy takes a tour to see what else goes into making this iconic pottery. That's yeah, not bad. Well, yeah. we're getting there, aren't we? We're getting there now, yeah. You yeah, all right, Sue? I'm fine, thank you. Suzanne Heathcote's been working at the factory for over 30 years. She's an expert at creating the intricate decorations that have made Wedgwood pottery world famous. It's a job Guy soon finds out is harder than it looks. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, we've knackered the job. Getting workers to specialise in just one part of the process was an idea first introduced by Wedgwood. We've brought it. Oh, my. He essentially invented the production line, which made his factories more efficient and his products a higher quality. No, oh, we've written that. Too much pressure, was it? There isn't many people that can do it. I've not, as you've seen, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Turn it over now, take it off the waddler for you. There you go. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wedgwood really did demand very high standards. He had a habit of smashing any pot with his walking stick that he didn't think was up to scratch. Look, I've got a sweat on. <laughs> but it looks like the ones guys decorated will make the grade. Well, thank you very much. Welcome. Cheers, boss. All that effort, and in Wedgwood's day, there was still a chance that the workers would go home unpaid. Everything came down to the process of baking the pottery in the kiln. The kiln was more or less the last operation. You know, there was a 101 things that could go wrong, and the person that threw the clay, that put the decorative bits on there, they got paid on the work that came out of the kiln, but if the fellow that was running the kiln didn't do a very good job, you know, no one would get paid, so that's a lot of weight on your shoulders, isn't it? I definitely, definitely, definitely wouldn't want that job. Spot on, boss. How long are they in there for, then? 30 hours. Let's get a brew on, then. How bad? <laughs>